so. I screwed up. This isn't how I want to start a video. But my goodness. Holy cow, I've screwed up. So. Occasionally, when I am about to start recording, Dolphin crashes. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, that is one of the reasons why I do save states in between chapters, right? Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Well, I didn't after chapter 8. Yikes. Um, as I sit here recording this, I don't know what to do because here's the thing. I've taken the chapter 8 twice because I had to use the I forget in chapter 8 because I lost too many units. I don't know if I'm going to still have one or not because I have to start over. That doesn't exist. The footage I have... And I'm going to put it in the greatest moments. I'm going to keep that footage because I think it has some great... I think it's some great footage. The problem is I don't have the save file. Does it count or does it not? I don't know. I... I don't know. I just don't. Um... No, I don't like cheating, so I really just don't know. Like, am I just going to pretend that it didn't exist, or or what? Um, I... Just thinking off the top of my head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record Chapter 8. Obviously. Um, if something goes wrong, I'll give me a freebie redo no matter what, just because that's what happened originally. That's what happened in the original recording. If I have to use a freebie, okay, cool. If I don't have to use a freebie, I'll decide what to do. I don't know. No matter what, I'm continuing. It's just a matter of, do I have a I forget still or not? Did I use it or didn't I? The recording doesn't exist. Also, I should probably make sure that the game didn't somehow save on its own. I don't think it did. But I should make sure it didn't. Anyways, enough of this intro. I'm gonna... I'll get the game up. Okay. For the record, I've learned my lesson to always save. Always use a safe state between every chapter just in case this happens again. The only reason, I've already mentioned this, the only reason I use safe states is to make sure that if I screw up and lose a file, I don't have to redo that much. Okay. Where does this take me? Let me pause the game really quickly. So. I have decided. I mean, I know for all of you watching this on YouTube, this, what, you just want me to get to the game, probably. Like, I don't, you're probably like, I don't care that you just lost your file. Just get to the game. Um. Eventually, you will see that footage. Um, this is actually the second time I've messed up with recording. I messed up on chapter 4 as well. So there are going to be... I feel so bad that all the exciting moments of this Let's Play are being locked behind the greatest moments because I... Chapter 4, the footage was horrible. Uh, somebody died, but I got rid of the footage because it was horrible. It was not watchable. Chapter 8, I accidentally lost my save file. Two people died the first time I did it. The second time I did it, I did it perfectly fine. Still, I just feel so bad, you know? Like, I feel really bad that this all happened. So, I'm going to say that didn't happen. Just like with Chapter 4, I'm going to keep going as if nothing happened. 
Anything else? Hopefully I don't have to split this episode into two parts again, though. What's wrong, Ike? Done already? Come on, son. You'll never beat me with that attitude. <laughs> Think you're as stubborn as your mule-headed father? Something that I touched upon in the original recording is... Ike's a brunette in this. See? If you zoom in... If you look really close, he's a brunette. And something that I kind of mentioned is... Is blue hair... In Tellius, like, brown is in the real world, where it kind of starts out as blonde, but slowly gets darker and darker and darker until it actually, like, reaches the brown, like, what happened with me. I, I don't know. Just... Ike, grow up big and strong. I believe you've got the makings of a great warrior. <laughs> Father... This is a dream, is it? This, this is all real. Mist. The sun's going down. It's getting cold. Come on. Let's go. Mist. I... <sighs> Mist. Side, but I couldn't save him. I'm sorry. It's, it's so unreal. Dad's gone. He's gone. I. I don't. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I'm here. Brother. I'll leave the company. Your father's stead, and I'll protect you all. You, the princess, everyone. I'll protect you. You'll see. No. Brother. I... No. Yes? I won't allow it. I can't lose you, don't you see? If you do, then I'll be all alone. I won't allow it. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Miss. Chapter 8 Despair and Hope I only have despair. Commander Grail, why is this happening? Why is any of this happening? Why now? First Crimea, and now you. Ike. Oh, Ike, where's Mist? She's resting in her room. Reese and Wolf are with her. That's good. She needs to sleep. She's been through too much. We all have. You should rest too, Ike. I'll be alright. Grief won't bring my father back to life. I know. I've been a burden on both of you. Titania, Soren. I just need to thank both of you for staying here with me. Not at all. There's no need. Don't trouble yourself. So... Where is everyone? I to tell the truth. Yes. I'm back. How did it go? They're gone. Oscar, what's going on? Ike, are you all right? I'm fine. Tell me what happened. Start talking. Right. What's the best way of telling you this? Shannon and Gatry have left. Soren. What? There's nothing to hide, is there? They left? Both of them? Why did they? Oh, I see. They left because of me, didn't they? Ike. Titania told us you were going to be the new commander. Shannon just about exploded. He and Gatchi left not long ago. I went after them. I thought maybe I could talk some sense into them. But it was a waste of time. We all knew that Ike was going to hear the command of the company, didn't we? It just happened sooner than we wanted. It was Grail's decision. If some of us aren't satisfied with that, there's no reason we should stop them from leaving. As far as losing fighting strength is concerned, we can solve that by adding new members. Soren, after all we've been through together, surely you don't need to take that tone. 
forgive me. I, I wasn't able to stop any of this. It's not your fault, Titania. They did what they felt they had to do. They didn't want to lose their lives to an inexperienced commander. Ike, don't talk about yourself like that. I'm not saying that to gain anyone's pity. It's the truth. But even so, I have no intention of giving up command of this company. I, will you? I'm going to follow my father's wishes. I'm going to assume command. If everyone will accept me, that's what I'd like to do. Of course. I'd already made up my mind. That's what I was going to do all along. I'm in too. Briggs, is to sleep. I know I missed most of the conversation, but I have a good idea of what you've been discussing. Commander Ike? Yes, it does have a nice friend to What about you, Soren? Ike? I'm not sure what I could help I could be to you. What place is there for me in a mercenary company anyways? You are so weird. I've always depended on you, haven't I? I need your tactical knowledge. I need your objectivity. You're not gonna leave me, are you, Soren? Don't worry, I'll be here watching over you. Thank you. I know I'm not as experienced as most of you. I'm gonna make some mistakes, but I'll try to not let you down. Well, you're gonna have to learn a lot about being commander. I'm glad you're serious, because it's a lot of work. Tell me everything. First, you'll need to understand your company expenditures, and we'll talk about ensuring that everyone is properly outfitted, and we can't forget to gather the good intelligence, and you'll want to know everyone's abilities and relationships. Uh-huh. Earlier, I spoke with a merchant caravan that's taken refuge here in the castle. They fled Crimea at the same time we did. I told them who we are, and they asked if they could travel with us. I think they're worried about protection from Dia. In exchange, they've offered us a good rate on items and weapons. They'll also buy items and forge weapons for us. Uh-huh. They also said we could use their wagons to store our goods. That's one worry off our minds. Uh-huh. So, anyway, Titania! Yes? I know I said tell me everything, but this is too much. I can't keep up. Maybe I shouldn't learn everything in one sitting? Can you show me the ropes along the way? Is that all right? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I gotta get carried away. I'll take over for now. Why don't you get some rest? I'm alright. You worry too much. Get some rest. That's an order. I'll do my best to manage. Yes, Commander. Okay, this is the base. Um, if there's more than three infos, I will not do support. So we currently have one support conversation that's unlocked. Don't worry, I'm not gonna forget about it. I just don't want entire videos to be just in the base. So I'll just do some in, uh, info. Um, I'm gonna try to speak through these to the best of the ability because again, I don't want to spend the entire day of videos in info screens and support screens. I wanna have videos in the game, so. Why, hello, you must be the young commander I've heard so much about. My. You are a young one, aren't you? And you must be from the merchant caravan Titania told me about. The one that asked to travel with us? Yep, that's us. It must have been fate that brought us all here together. If you offer us protection, we'll supply you with the provisions you require. At a reasonable price, of course. What do you say? It's for the greater good of us all, wouldn't you agree? Well, it is a sound proposition. Yes, then we have an agreement. I'm the weapon merchant. Must you? Now be sure to stock the weapons you prefer. And I'm a the a vendor of various goods. I have a whole wide variety of items for sale. I hope you'll stop by soon. Your name is George. I buy things. Anything, really? You got any weapons or items you don't need? Bring them to me. My name's Daniel. I'm a craftsman. I specialize in made-to-order items. There's one last item to cover. If you'd like, we can also act as a storage warehouse of sorts. Carrying your extra things. What do you think? That would be fantastic. We've recently left our stronghold, and I was afraid we'd have to carry our goods ourselves. I'm happy to take you up on your offer. Very good. Well then, may our enterprise be profitable for us all. I hear someone. Is it coming from over here? A oh, sniff. I don't know why I read the sniff. Why? Grail, why? Why you? Why did you have to... Why? A 
What's going on, Rolf? Oh, Ike, if you're wondering about Mist, she just fell asleep. Really? Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, disturb you Rolf. It's all right. I don't mean mine. It's getting late. You should get yourself to bed. I will, but... Um, what is it? Mist is just fine. Hmm? You're here, Ike, so she's fine. I mean, she's gonna be fine. Huh? That's all. Well, good night. <laughs> Rolf, thank you. Reese? I... What are you doing? I was praying. For my father? Yes. Is he... The commander? He... He... Reese. I, I'm sorry. I know this must be so much harder on you. Forgive me. A long time ago, my father told me a story. It was about the dead. They said the more tears we shed, the more blessings they receive hereafter. I envy you, Reese. For some reason, I can't seem to cry at all. Reese, if you could shed a tear for me too, I'd be grateful. Uh, I, I'd be honored. Thank you, Reese. Thanks for caring so much about my father. Um, I have a little more some XP. Uh, war XP is, you get bonus XP, then you can spread it. Uh, which is nice. Um, right now, I'm not gonna worry about using it all. I'm just gonna keep everybody closer to even, so I'm gonna get, uh, Soren and Mia up to level 8. I mean, I mean, I know that I need to, because I've done this, this is the third time I've done this. And I swear I'm not cheating. I do swear on the integrity of the run that I didn't purposely... I don't purposely do this to get out of bad situations. Chapter 4. If people really want, I can upload that video. I don't think it's watchable, which is why I didn't use that recording and I restarted the chapter. Chapter 8. I don't have the save file. And I'd like to keep things consistent. Like, if I were on chapter 12, gameplay-wise, but I lost footage from chapter 9, guess what? I'd, do, I'd redo chapter 9, 10, 11, and 12. I'd redo all of them. I want things to be consistent. I don't want things to magically change. I'd like consistency, so... If I lose a save file... Then I redo stuff. Even if I really, really don't want to. And I know exactly what I'm doing item-wise as well. Also because I've done it so much. Time. I wasn't worried about items over. It turns out this entire time I also have forgotten to equip the ring. You know. Oh, uh, there's nothing in the armory to worry about yet. Put that in the convoy. I guess it auto just put it in the front. And one of these. Wrong button. I am watching the sale of that. There's only one we can use. Plus axes, or uh, no point in keeping the iron axe. There we go. Good morning, Ike. How are things going? Does everything look good? Um, my controller just double inputted. Uh, but the line that was skipped is, um, did he get, uh, was Ike saying, did he get good rest to, to Tanya? Enough as could be expected. 
of everything that's going on. But now we've got some serious business to deal with. Oh my goodness! Okay, so what that line said is, first things, um, we need some new recruits. Did you hear word from the palace? No, nothing yet. According to the Lagoose who brought our food, we should be receiving word sometime soon, but... Ike, I've got bad news. Look out the window. I think it is, is it? If I'm not imagining things, that's a squad of damn soldiers. Why do they have to show up now? What could they possibly be thinking coming this far into Galleon territory? If they come this far, I'm sure getting out of here alive is not one of their priorities. We're in trouble. They have us completely surrounded. We cannot escape. So many of them. So few of us. It doesn't look good, does it? Doesn't matter. We have to fight. Real mercenaries, ready yourselves. Yes, sir. I've been form formulating a strategy immediately. I, brother, Miss, I want you and Rolf to go in the back and hide. Hide? Just do it now. Everything will be fine. But I need you to do this. All right? All right. Be careful. Ah, it's happening again. The medallion's glowing. Mother, father, if you hear me, please watch over Ike. Please, will you protect him? Okay. So. Oh my goodness. I am about to just chuck something. My goodness. God. Just in case I have to use, uh, I forget. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have a very good understanding of how to do this chapter, and I feel bad for knowing how to, like, the perfect strategy by trial and error. But. My fault. I want to start right there. At least I know how to make this chapter go snappy quick. Let me just say I hate this chapter so much. I'm just so worried that this is going to end horribly, so I'm just like... Ah, 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 ah. I know for a fact that Tanya can hold that side on her own. Just because she's just that good of a unit. Um, there are some item drops. The only one that's important is that there's a red gem by the boss. I'll quickly show that. Uh, this map does have reinforcements on it, and reinforcements really don't matter too too much but there are a lot of them what makes this chapter hard is just there's there's just a lot going on at first like this chapter is one of the hardest in the game and honestly assuming i get past this chapter there's only one more chapter i'm really worried about at all 19 chapter 19 but by then ike is promoted and the, the only thing i'm worried about in that chapter is one enemy that actually can leave if you know how to do stuff. 
Oh, holy cow, this is... Tanya's chugging! Come on, crit, crit, crit. Get a critical. Critical! Healer there is the one with the red gem. Good love, Juan. Oh. Just want to make sure Shovel's the top command. Kills in one hit, right? That was the axe guy, probably, I imagine. He might be as well. They're probably both axe users. The axe users are the big deadlies here. Don't know what that lag spike is about. screaming Not double sword. For two attack. Two defends. Level one from the Yup, you do not survive two of them. Of sword. Now 
worth it. Crit. Darn. Okay, now she has a short sleeve though, so now she will rank to everyone. One ranged guy over here, right? Aliana is a recruitable unit. Um, she doesn't have a skill shape. Oh, which essentially means um, enemies will kind of avoid her a bit. If you see a uh, named character with a skill like that, that means they're almost for sure recruitable because that skill does not benefit an enemy unit. The only ranged guy there is the bow. And he will probably attack Ike, I'd like to say. I'm assuming. It's only nine bows. Yeah, he can't kill Sword even if he does. And most of that enemy over oh, so enemies over my Tatami will be killed this turn because of the uh range. He will be killed. Blue. I'll say this is all the three times I've had to do this Forsaken chapter. This is the best that's gone. Haven't gotten as lucky with criticals, but other than that, silk smooth. As soon as I can, I'm going to switch Oscar into Tanya because Tanya does much better shoot it there for the ending part of the chapter. Uh, yay! I like that level up quite a bit. Strength, HP, luck, and speed. What well, I think Oscar really benefits from the most, to be honest. I could probably kill him next turn as well. I can kill him as well. Gosh darn longbow is a pain in the butt. Yeah, let me just state for like a bajillion time how bad I feel that I had recordings that didn't turn out, especially since they actually had stuff happen, but for the sake of continuity, they didn't happen. And if you, I mean, stop watching because of all this, that is 100% fair. Well, hopefully it's not that big a deal. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not talking much. It's just I'm really focusing because this chapter sucks and I don't want to do it a fourth time. So. This is the only area that's going... In interesting direction, and it's going jawsy essentially the same. It's just, uh, it's not as interesting. It's just a little bit more clogged up. Because I had I go out four last time, so he was fighting three enemies a turn, instead of just two. And he was a little bit better at dodging then, but again, wow, that level up is gray. Defense is the only good thing missing. Crit. Okay. The real question is, do I heal him now or not? I know this turn for Oscar, I'm going to heal him and have him move down javelin on those enemies. And then as soon as possible, I am killing that magic guy because he has a red gem which sells. I believe it already sells for 2,500. At least that's what it sells for in GBA. I don't remember how much it sells for in Tellius. I think it sells for the same. I will have her take out the bug guy, I guess. Since I'm having Soren do a lot more this time around. Cool. I 
I don't want him being able to attack. You know, it's really just not worth the risk of having Ike die. So. No. Item man, I mean, inventory management, please. Do well. I like when things go well. Makes me happy. Yep. Yep. Okay, Ike's starting to take a little bit more damage. Hate the enemies do that. It's a darn diggity good thing that he didn't double that. There then. Because of that. Reinforcement time. Good unit. The faster I can get sword promoted, the better off I can be in this game. was awfully harsh, but darn if I didn't need it. Okay, yeah, Ike's fine. Great. Okay, I'm starting to get impatient. Let's get that red gem. I'm gonna have Oscar help out over there, actually, in fact. Because I'm gonna have him kill the archer. I'm not. Nice, nice. The only thing that's missing is defense. I have a ton of them in convoy, it looked like. I don't know how he has so many in convoy, but at least it looked like I had dozens of them. Yeah. I'll 
do that. Yep, boss guy starting to move. No plans on killing him, to be honest. So I know it's just not gonna happen. Uh, he does drop a ring, but again, that's only on second playthroughs. So. People who have never played this game before don't need to worry about that drop. Here we go. Starting to really tick me off for the record. Oh, fooey. Okay. Oscar, you double that guy, right? Okay, all of a sudden this chapter's kind of turn, made a turn for the worst. Get out of here. Huh? Who are you? I am a traveling mage. I can't believe I'm foolish. This castle. Hey, I'm all right. I, I'm sorry. This rain is so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. You don't look too good. Are you sick? Do you need a medicine? You're awfully kind, aren't you? No, you don't look like any DM soldier I've ever seen. Are you really one of them, or have they? Do the service. I was traveling with some merchants, but we got separated. I came here to escape this rain, but some soldiers of black found me. They thought I was a Crimean refugee. I tried to tell them who I was, but they wouldn't believe me. They said they'd put me back to the sword if I didn't help fight I'm very sorry. Don't apologize. You didn't have any choice. You had been me, I was going to do the same thing. But listen. I think I've seen the merchant convoy you were traveling with in the castle. There was a weapons vendor named Rustin. I think a woman named me and some That's them! That's incredible! Are they all unharmed? Where are they? They're fine. They're fine. In fact, we've come to an agreement and they're traveling with us now. I don't see any reason we should go on fighting if you're with them. We can protect you from game. Right! That's not good. That's right, would you please allow me to join your company too? That sounds fine, Eliana, but this place is dangerous. Go ahead and seek safety within the castle. We'll hold off enemy troops. No, I'll fight too. But you're sick. 
need some help. This isn't the full force of Vian soldiers. Four of them are waiting in the forest. They'll need me. Well, I wish you were right, but it sounds like we will need your help. I'm just glad to get away from those awful black-clad soldiers. That is 100% right. I forgot about that. I can still do stuff, which means I can still have him do that. Turn assist seven. One return. One turn. What? They still resist impossible. Fight dogs. Focus. Focus and press forward. Yep. Does eight damage. I remember that. I bet she doubles him. I bet I can have her kill him next. Okay, I think this chapter has ended well. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Tanya is like the one like thing wor person worth worrying about right now, but that's because she's by the boss. Varney, the hammer wasn't on Boyd when he died. Javelin, Javelin, Javelin. Does not kill him. There we go. And then I imagine you kill him easily. I should have switched to the, uh, the regal sword first. Oh well. Huh? What's going on? Our troops, attack! Cool! Sorry for such a long video, though. See, I wish this was like the DS games and I could skip any free phase. Because I know nothing's gonna happen in this phase unless the enemy gets. I hope I didn't jinx anything, but unless an enemy gets a critical, I'm fine. reinforcements even though the map's over. Huh. There are still four of them. Huh. Everyone, fall back to the castle. Regroup. Regroup within the castle. Sure, you and Rolf get out of here alive. Let's 
once you're out of the danger. You go straight to the palace and stay with Princess Alexia. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying with everyone. I'm staying with you. As long as I'm with you, I'm not afraid to die. We'll see mother and father. We'll be together again. So please, stop telling me to leave it. I can't. I can't leave any of you again. All right? All right. Don't leave my son. Thank you, brother. For one thing, you're not going to see mother just yet. What? I'm going to protect you. I'm not going to let you die. I'll be a father, my boy. <laughs> you took on the day an army with bigger numbers. You fought well. My compliments. However, it ends now. Prepare to die. Ah, no! What was that? What happened? Just galleon beasts. There are only two of them. How could they have brought my army to its knees? Uh, how are they so strong? Is that why people fear to let you? My dead. Correct. That's right. I might. The safest back here. Thank you. Reynolds told me Ike is not a bad stranger. Mordecai and Ike, we will become friends. You don't know that. You don't know if we can trust him. It's too soon to tell. He's a big orc. A human. You know all humans have two faces. Right. They are. What's that? That's what you are. Power are used. You soft, hairless things are no with no power at all. You are called Bayor. Did you say? Wait, you are being bad. The king forbids this. We cannot fight with Bayor. Else Bayor call us my hated names. Look at us with eyes filled with scorn. Subhumans. Is that how Bayor treat their friends? Is that how Bayor treat their allies? You're right. Some of us use that name far too readily. I guess if we had thought about it, we would have realized it's not a fly term. But we didn't know any... You know... Blech. But we didn't know you by any other name. I'm sorry. You knew no other name for us. Are we really so little to you, human? You who forced us into slavery. How easily you forget. But we the goos, we remember. We remember how we have suffered at your hands. The king can say whatever he likes. I will not trust you. I want you now. Never speak to me in such a way. Please. What's your point? Did you come all this way to complain to us? <laughs> Typical subhumans. Scum! Those who use that name are enemies of Galia. Subhuman. Enemy. He is enemy. You think you're humans? The only thing human about you is your conceit, you filthy, hairy subhuman. Ah! Mordecai, kill him! Ike! Ow. What? Ike! Ike, I'm sorry. I have hurt you. I did not intend to hurt you. Mordecai, this entry is nothing. I'm fine. You're nothing but a beast. Sword, stand down. Why did you stop me? He hurt you. He could have killed you. We can't let him get away. If you hadn't provoked him, none of this would have happened. Right? But I... I'm sorry. Mordecai, please. I apologize on behalf of my company. Please forgive me. 
Ford's poor excuse book that he recently lost some of the payments. I'm tired of it. I'm not thinking clearly. I forgave Lord Tom, so now I forgive Sora. No one need be angry. I apologize as well. My behavior has been unkind. I forgot our mission. I have loved you terribly. Mission? The king wants to see you. We are not here to guide you to the royal palace. Uh, so the reason we got bonus XP for a unit not fighting is because Boyd is dead. So, we couldn't deploy somebody on this slot. Anyways, that'll end this episode. First things first, while I'm thinking about it, and while I'm giving outro, holy cow, I am not playing this chapter again. There. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.